Hey everybody, Crystal Kitsune here. And today, we're gonna do something a little low-key. Nothing too extravagant. Um, mainly because I had to go to the dentist today, so... I mean, I'm not in any pain or anything, I'm just kind of annoyed at the dentist. Um, I had, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I had a, uh... had to get a crown. Uh, or set up for a crown. And I had a temporary in here. Which was fine, because it was below the tooth line, so it didn't hit on anything, it didn't aggravate me. But this time when they put the crown in, uh, I went in today and get the crown in, uh, it still hits on this side before it gets to this side, so this side doesn't close down all the way. I try to tell the dentist that, but she's all like, oh, give it a week, it will be fine. So I have to humor the dentist for a week, so it's, it's kind of annoying. Um, so I'm just gonna do something a little low-key, um, I have, uh, this game thing here, it's called Guess the WikiHow. Um, I saw, uh, I saw that Jacksepticeye did it, but I didn't watch him do it, but I did do, I uh, did watch, like, a little bit of the live stream that the Game Theory, uh, GT Live did on their stream, and I thought it was really interesting how, like, these WikiHow articles, I've never even heard of WikiHow, but, they show you a picture, and then you proceed to try and guess what the how-to is. Um, and some of the answers that they got on theirs was really hilarious. Um, some of them were like really other. What they do though is, even though the article is about one thing, it has multiple steps. It's actually kind of really amusing. These steps, but they take part of the pic you know the picture from part of this these steps and put it in as this is how you do it so some of the ones that they had that looked like something completely different happened to be one of the steps of something totally you know looking unrelated so for this particular game your mission is to click on or look at the picture uh, kind of figure out like like what the challenge I guess is is to look at the picture try to figure out what the what the picture's telling you before you get the questions and then click on the how-to down here and it'll give you a list of four possible answers and then you go from the four possible answers to uh, determine on which is the correct answer so I haven't actually played this before um, I did like skip through some of the questions um, to see what basically what the game was you have a score up here on the top and if you get it right, then you get a, like a better percentage. If you get it wrong, then your percentage goes down. I don't. It's like endless as far as I know. You can put up as many questions as you want, but some of the answers to these questions are, are pretty interesting and weird. Um, but I'm not gonna do it with shots or anything like that because since there's like a multiple choice, um, there isn't really a definitive like you got a one in three, a one in four chance. So, if it was like a 50-50 thing, that's better because then you just drink on the wrong answer. Um, so I'm not doing it with shots or anything, so this is just me uh, trying to figure out what this these, these pictures are correlating to. And so we'll get started and I'll stop talking. Um, so right now we have a picture of a puppy that is sitting on a, a scale and there's some sort of briefcase. Um, oh, and also, if you click on, like, the, uh, when you get the answer, whether it's wrong or right, uh, the title is now, like, it's like a link. So you can link, um, to the actual wiki how and see where this is in the steps of what you're trying to do. So, how to make a guy that is mad at you like you again through text, uh, how to be a fascist, how to choose a puppy, how to show respect. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory, I think. I think it's how to choose a puppy, because when you're choosing a puppy, you have to make sure that it's a certain weight, because if it's like underweight, it could either be sick, like have a ringworm or something like that, or it just could be, you know, sick in another way. So you want to like make sure that it's a certain weight, um, and not sick or whatever. So I think the answer for this one is how to choose a puppy, and it's making showing you that you should weigh it against something that's a certain size or a certain weight or whatever, so you can determine to see what's the best size 
or wait for a puppy. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and choose that one right off the bat. How to choose a puppy. All right. So I think if we right click on this, uh, open in a new window, um, it won't show up on here. Uh, but um, deciding on the type of puppy, I'm just looking at it myself, and it's underneath. Uh, assessing a lifestyle, so you want to make sure you have a f good financial standing before you go get a puppy. Um, consider where you live, whether it's a good neighborhood. And the thing was, oh, it's not weight. It's assessing your existing work-life balance. Do you have time to care for your puppy? A puppy needs a lot of care and training. So basically this picture here um, shows uh, whether or not you can take care of a puppy, whether your work life and your like home life is uh, balanced or whatever. I was thinking it was balancing up against a for weight, but it was still right. So okay, so now we're gonna play again. How to now this is a clock with multiple arms or hands, arms, um, hands. So I'm thinking that it is like how to manage time, or how not to waste time, or something like that. Something to do with time, obviously. So we'll go ahead and clicky on this, um, see what it is. How to be hipster yet emo. How to induce nightmares. How to speak Finnish, or how to play a prank. Now I know there's a lot of like pranks that are related to time, or clocks. Um, you basically have... Uh, like set the clock back or forward and people get you know freaked out because the time's wrong or something like that um, so I'm oop, I don't know why I did that how to um, so I'm thinking that the answer to this particular wiki how is how to play a prank because I don't see how this relates to anything else but then again like I said some of the pictures are misleading because you see this it has a clock now, the only thing, uh, like, I would think that would even relate to this p particular picture is how to play a prank. Because, like I said, time setting the clock back and or forward and making people freak out. So I'm going to click on that one and see what their answer is. How to induce nightmares. Okie dokie. So I'm going to, let me see, if I open this in a new tab, will it show up if I put it on there? Let me see. Yes, it will. Awesome. Okay, so now you can actually see um, the uh, how to induce nightmares, sleep face down, or eat spicy certain foods before bed, sp apparently spicy stuff, um, scare yourself slightly before you're going to bed, um, consider taking vitamin B6, why you want to induce a nightmare is beyond me, um, taking melatonin, uh, taking certain substance in moderation, is this to avoid Oh no, this is inducing nightmares. Why would you want to induce? Um, controlling Method 2, controlling your dreams. Um, think of a topic to dream about, and then when you fall asleep, just think about it, I guess. Um, sleep for more than 8 hours a night. Uh, lie in bed after waking up. I don't know what this all has to do with. I want to see what the fucking thing is about. Okay, try to cause lucid dreaming. In a lucid dream, the dreamer is aware that he or she is dreaming. It often results in more vivid or memorable dreams sometimes, but not always. Allows the dreamer to shape the course of events to some extent. Well, okay, so that has to do with lucid dreaming. It has nothing to do with, um, that other thing that I said. The pranks. So we'll play again. Okay. No, I just saw that one. Okay, there we go. Uh, what is the title of this wiki how article? How to deal, or how to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? How to Cope. There, that's the word I'm looking for. How to cope at look or how to cope by looking or how to cope with yourself after looking at bad art <laughs> or something like that. I mean, I don't know who draws these things to be, you know, but it's like obviously it looks like it was drawn in MS Paint to start with. Um, if it was MS Paint, it's not that bad, but it looks like it was drawn in MS Paint, and this girl is going like this. And he's got, and the guy has like a pointed tooth, so he looks like a vampire. It's like how to write bad Twilight fanfiction. <laughs> that seems legit. 
that I mean it's a girl and a guy, so maybe it's Bella and uh, Edward or whatever. I never read the books. I never saw any of the movies. So, um, how to write? Like I said, a bad Twilight fan fiction. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go look at the choices because I have no freaking clue. Um, how to convince people at school you're a vampire? Yeah, because that's like the most important thing in your high school life is to make people think you're weirder than you already are. Um, how to accept your boyfriend's interest in pornography? <laughs> Some of these answers are ridiculous. Um, how to simplify your life and how to support the arts. Okay, so the the obvious choice to me would be the first one, which is how to convince people at school you're a vampire. He's got pointy feet, pointy feet, pointy teeth. Um, so that's the one that pops into my head at the most. Um, how the other three? I mean, the second one might because he might be interested in vampire porn. I don't know, but. Uh, um, but then it could also be the last one because <clears throat> he could be a vampire for a play, and the arts. Usually, when they say the arts, they usually mean to mean like theater and uh, plays and stuff like that. So it could either be one, three, or four. Uh, I don't think the simplify your life is in this. Um, but I'm going to go with. Oh fuck it! I'm just gonna go with the last one because. That seems so out there. I mean, not out there, but it seems like that would be the least, most, um, the least one. But it's probably the first one. Yep, that's the first one. How to convince people at school you're a vampire. So now I'm going to right click on this in a new tab and see just what people, how you do. How you do to do what you need to do. Okay, so the steps are, um, have, one to have some fun, freak people out or try to be beautiful, strong, and skilled vampire. Sure, here's how. <clears throat> Get the look. Make sure you look like Edward Cullen. Um, if you're naturally dark skinned, then don't try to make yourself a color or a look face. Simply use foundation to create a smooth face to your skin. If you're already quite pale skin, lose a light foundation to get yourself a translucent glow. Yeah, okie dokie. Um, act the part. Look like the undead or high. Um, do this after a weekend or the first day back over to the book look very sick <laughs> yeah this is exactly what you want people to uh, you want people to think you're sick or dying or something like that so good job wiki how um, da -da -da -da, on subject uh, oh okay that's not, uh, move the part you can pa practice ballet uh, which is easy to learn from home if you're not getting serious about it walk with grace long strides or a short skip if you choose. Skip, make it look like you're dancing. If you can't run, then don't. If you can, then flaunt it. Okay. Uh, try to be the su be the super out of Supernational. Um, if you're going to have mind reading, look at some people pass through the class. Yeah. Okay. Then they're gonna definitely think you're free. Obtain a day ring. If you want to be vampire, a vampire diary vampire, obtain a ring or necklace with an ancient looking in intricate design and wear it every day. Uh, they say they look, they protect them from the sun. Uh, what to say and how to act. Try to... <sighs> this is like major creep factor because this thing is a, what to say and what to act. When your friends run over to you and ask you to look at your necks, if they say, uh, if they say you were were you even listening or what are you doing? Say either one of these. Yeah, of course I was listening. Um, <clears throat> what for me? Wearing you smell lovely. Or they go away, say, why walk away? And then look at them. Yeah, this is just sad. Um, but yet, there you go. That's the steps you need to take if you want to be a vampire. Um, let me just do that because that's annoying. Um, okay, so next. Let's do the next one. How to look creepy how to look like a serial killer serial killer um now they showed this one on um the gt live but i was leaving my chair as it was still going so i didn't see the result of this particular uh answer i'm not cheating it's just uh the ones that do show up that i've seen on gt live i'm just gonna skip over because i've seen i'm just gonna answer it the way that they answered it which was either the wrong or right answer. Um, so, 
that way you know that I've seen it and then I don't have to pretend. So I haven't se I've seen the picture, but I haven't seen the questions or the, um, what the answer is. Okay, so how to survive a cold winter? Ask a guy to come over and warm up your sheets, if you know what I'm saying. Um, how to make your boyfriend kiss you? Look like a creeper. Um, how to love your girlfriend? Well, if your girlfriend looked like that and smiled like that in that particular way, I wouldn't still be with her. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, we still wouldn't be with her. How to say some common phrases in Esperanto. Now, my, my uh, choice would probably be no number two. How to make your boyfriend kiss you. Because it looks like she's trying to be alluring, even though the picture doesn't really come across as that. Um, but watch it be the first one, which is how to survive a cold winter. Have some guy come and keep, keep you warm and toasty in your bed. I'm going to choose the second one. Okay. Oh, I did choose that one. Okay, cool. I got it right. I look like a creeper. You heard it here first. Okay, next question. Okay, so this one I saw, I know the answer to this one. <clears throat> which is not what you think. Um, if you look at the... Uh, the answers are different. Like, the uh, the wrong answers are different. <clears throat> to an extent, I think. But the questions... Are, are the, are the, an the prompts... What's the, what's the answer to this thing is... How to be a fascist. We had that one before. How to not do drugs. How to get over <clears throat> an anime addiction. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Mm. I have no idea why that just came on. I was fine earlier today, but now all of a sudden I'm all coffee. So, sorry. I apologize. Uh, how to keep your dogs off the lawn. So, you would probably think something on the lines like... Actually, none of the, 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 the three answers that are wrong really pertain, pertain to this particular picture. Or you would think. The answer is... Because I saw this answer be answered and they got it wrong but the answer is how to keep a dog off your lawn and what the what the thing is is that you're supposed to chat with your neighbor um like if your neighbor's dog is getting on your lawn have a chat with your neighbor and like talk civilly about it so that's the answer so i know that so we'll like <clears throat> i'll pop up and show you um you can either to keep dogs off your lawn try home remedies like baking soda Spraying the dog's genitals. No, actually. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's, they were making fun of this one because it says, Spray vinegar around the perimeter, but it's showing you spraying the dog's butthole with vinegar. So that's what the perimeter of your property. That's the perimeter of the dog's anus. Um, or you could, could do different fertilizer. Um, some dogs see, are drawn to uh, stuff like that. Um, plant lavender or spiky shrubbery. Uh, <clears throat> be cautious about other home remedies like cinnamon, I guess. Garlic. Uh, hot peppers. Oh, it shows you. Um, use... Oh, goodness, mothballs or something. Um, use for... Refrain from using coffee grounds, mothballs, garlic powder, Tabasco, ammonia, and detergents to drive off dog. Um, working with the neighbors... Be neighborly, first to keep on dogs to convince dogs, owners to cooperate. Um, suggest that your lawn is unsafe, because you've got rodents running around apparently. Okay, so this is the one. Confront your neighbor. Uh, if you know whose dog is responsible, continue, consider contacting the owner. Be casual. Invite him over, assuming that it's a guy and you're a female. Instead of accusing him, assume that he's aware of the situation and just needs to be informed about it. If the owner agrees to do something about it, drop the subject. Uh, I'm complaining won't do anything, but aggravate them. So that's that's where that comes from. But see, uh, to, like, this doesn't look like it has anything to do with this particular topic. So like, if they had like this picture with the, the spraying the dog's butt, it's more apt to trigger you thinking about how to get dogs off your lawn, or you just have a fetish of spraying dogs on the butt. So <clears throat> that's just another thing. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I keep coughing. I know it's aggravating. It's aggravating for me because I'm trying to talk and I keep coughing. So, I apologize. Um, we'll just do a couple more because it's almost time. Um, what's the wiki how article? 
Um, how to flap your arms up and down like a bird and turn off your girlfriend or female female sex. Awesome, I don't know what that <clears throat> How to tell a lie without being caught. How to kick out a dangerous roommate. How to avoid getting caught smoking by your parents. Or how to afford expensive stuff for teenagers. Um, I'm thinking it's probably the lie. Because he's looking like he's like all like over like this and he's looking way too like overextending himself you know and the girl's like I'm not believing this shit just go away so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. I'm not gonna like uh, try to talk about it too much because of the coughing but it's almost 20 minutes in so we'll just go ahead and do that oh got it right awesome uh, we'll check out that one to see what it says um, uh, planning your lie, <clears throat> make sure that you get your story correct, uh, bend the truth, which is a whole lot better than actually out and out lying, apparently, uh, tell a believable lie, so people think that you're actually telling the truth, uh, practice saying the lie, so people don't think you're doing whatever, try not to involve other people, because then they will try to, you'll have to either get them to, to go in with your story or you're fucked because otherwise they'll say oh no so and so you know did it this way and so then you're basically screwed because your story doesn't match theirs or whatever um telling your lie keep the lie short so you don't have a lot to, to try to remember <clears throat> be confident because if you look like you're not confident then people are going to know that you're lying and yeah this is a great picture right here speak on a full bladder that's good to know. Drink a lot of water. Move your body naturally, not unnaturally. <clears throat> where's where's the one that comes living out the lie? Write down what you said so you can go back to it later. Come on, scroll down a little faster, please. Cover your tracks. Avoid telling other lies. Don't get caught telling other lies. <clears throat> know when you to cut your losses. And where's the picture that, like, we... Oh, did I get the question wrong? Yeah, I got it right. So how- This doesn't even- This must be like an old picture that they use. Because none of the pictures that are on there now are the same picture as this. So they must have like updated their pictures or some shit. Okay. <coughs> I apologize. That's oh annoying. Annoying. So one more. Um, what's the title of this wiki? How to go like this? <laughs> Apparently. How to deal with a sarcastic person. How to exercise mindfulness to be happier. How to know the, to, how to know the warning signs before you come. <laughs> how to become a, how to decide <clears throat> if you should become a stripper. I'm just going to answer that one because that's such a funny answer. How to exercise mindfulness to be happy. Okay, well, that's gonna probably <clears throat> be <clears throat> all for today. Today, I keep coughing and, and getting a catch in my throat, uh, which makes me cough. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I'm very sorry that the cough, there was coughing. Um, I don't have any water. I have this, which is just ice water <clears throat> left over in the bottom of soda. I'm starting to wheeze, uh, which is triggering my asthma, so to save you from hearing my voice anymore while trying to keep from coughing. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. It's already <clears throat> over 20 minutes, so <coughs> thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and share with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and check out the new website that I have. All the links are in the description as well as on the splash page. Also, if you go over here, on this side, there'll be a, uh, no, on this side first. This side will be <clears throat> a video that YouTube suggested you watch. Here will be a place to subscribe if you haven't already. And on this side will be a link to my merch store, so check that out if you're interested in some merch. And I say, and I'll say thanks for, thanks so much for watching again, and see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.